Hello and welcome to the third fundamental investing with use of programming tutorial uh, where we left off we were showing you guys how to uh, at least view the data in your browser as far as like what we're looking for and eventually we'll look for other pieces of data but right now uh, the first thing we're going to be interested in is this price to book ratio here. So how do we actually get programming to like look at this? Well, if you have a program visit this web page, actually what the program is seeing is this, right? Like it's seeing all the actual like code that an HTML really that displays or JavaScript that display, displays on the page. So one of the easier ways to uh, find what you're looking for, like we know we're looking for, first of all, 9.22, but even better is we're looking for something that comes after this, right? So just copy that, go over to the source code, paste that into your search, and sure enough, here we go, we found price to book, and then coming after that, we found this 9.22. So that's how we know we can find this, and price to book, it's gonna be this every single time. Obviously, it won't always be 9.22, and really what we're looking for is something at least under one, but I think what probably what we'll do is we'll look for anything under 0.7 or something like that. So, how do we actually make a program to um, visit the web page for any stock, not just uh, Chipotle here, and find the price to book ratio? Well, we can use Python for this. So, let me move this out over a little bit, and we'll come into our Python window. Hopefully, you've got an empty window. And um, just to get us started, you probably want to go ahead and just immediately save uh, this I saved minus fundamental investing.py. Don't forget to save it as a .py. Um, so now, um, just a few things right off at the top of the script, we have to make some imports. Uh, if you're new to programming, this basically is a way for us to bring in other program, or other scripts rather, into our program. That way you don't have to continuously um, write new lines, you can import previously uh, programmed stuff. And these imports actually come with Python. So first thing we want to do is import time. This allows us to make a timer. And uh, we're going to do that so we can make a timer in between um, the amount of, in between the visits to Yahoo. That way, you're not hitting Yahoo like a thousand times a second, <laughs> right? So uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. Next thing we want to do is import URL lib URL lib two. Um, basically, it sounds kind of like what it is. It's a URL library, so you can kind of visit URLs. And then one more thing from URL lib2, we want to import URL open so we can actually open up URLs. So that's going to pretty much cover it with uh, the imports that we're going to um, pull. Now, uh, the rest of this stuff is actually going to be uh, stuff that we program. So, what we're going to do is come down here a little bit and we're going to define a uh, function. So, we're going to say define Yahoo key stats. If you don't know about functions, you can. I have a tutorial dedicated to functions. Uh, you can find it in my uh, channel. And Yahoo key stats. And then for that, we're going to put like stock. So, whatever stock variable we put into this function, uh, we're going to run you know, this function on it. As with all my functions, we're going to encase it in a try and accept loop. Accept exception E and print and we'll fail in the main loop and then string e for whatever reason we failed that will tell us why um, and then uh, since we have the stock variable we should go ahead and make our uh, like a list of stocks that we want to run through I have the entire S&P 500 list but also um, I'm going to have a, a shorter version of that just so we can run through an actual list all the way without running through the entire S&P 500 so I'm just going to copy and paste those into here um, there they are um, the S&P 500 is short, it's short enough uh, if I remember I'll put it into the description of this video if I forget comment and I will put it in the description of the video otherwise you can just type some out or, or put whatever you want in there for stocks this is just a, basically the first few of the full S&P 500. Um, and then in our, uh, so anyway, just remind me if I don't put it in there. And now in our uh, function here, what we're going to want to do is we'll say the source code equals URL lib2.url open. 
and what is the URL that we want to open? Well, if we come over here and we just look, this is the URL, right? It's this key statistics for uh, whatever. And actually, I don't think we need plus key statistics. I think we can get away with just this. Yes. So that'll be a little easier. So we don't have to put anything on the other uh, other end. So everything after this S equals, like S is, you know, symbol probably equals what? So we can just copy and paste everything before that, though. Come back over here, paste it in. So HTTP colon slash slash. Make sure you have the HTTP or HTTPS, depending on what you're trying to view. But in this case, make sure it's HTTP. Um, otherwise, this isn't going to work. And we want to open that plus whatever the stock is, right? And then what do we want to do with that? We want to read it. And so what that's going to do is we'll read into basically your RAM or memory um, all of this, right? This entire bulk of text will be read into memory. So now what do we want to do? Well, we want to find um, that price to book ratio. And the way I'm going to do that, you could use either A, regular expressions, or just like a split <laughs> and split both sides. So to keep this uh, tutorial as basic as possible, we're just going to use a basic splitter function. And uh, so let's, let's find price to book again. So to find uh, this 9.22, what is on either side of 9.22? Well, we have uh, this is on the one side of it, price to book all the way to this, right? So that's on one side of it. On the other side of it, we have um, table data. And that's probably all you really need, just some table data. So if we took a bunch of text and we say, well, we want to split up this text by every by price to book, you know, that's going to split up everything up here, right? And then if we say we want to then split by table data, that'll split everything over here. So you'll see what we're doing in a second if you're if you're not familiar with that. Um, so first, what we want to do is let's take price to book, highlight all of that all the way up to 9.22, and copy that. So then what we we'll want to do is say PBR for price to book ratio equals source code dot split, and the first thing that we want to split by is what we just copied and pasted, and for that we want one, and that it's basically this will create an array. Array start at zero. So the zeroth part of that array is going to be basically all, uh, well, whenever price to book started. Where is price book? Oh, it's right here. Sorry. Highlighting the wrong thing. So right here, all of this stuff up here is going to be array element zero. And then everything from here on is going to be the element one, right? Even though it's the second part, it's denoted as a one since arrays and lists and all that kind of stuff start at zero. And actually, I guess this is actually a list. Anyway, um, so now we're, what, we're, what we're dealing with once we've made that split is everything like this. So now what do we want to do? Well, let's just split by table data and then take the first element or the zero width element there. And that would give us what we're looking for, which in this case is 9.22, but it's going to change by stocks. Um, so first of all, let's fix that. Uh, so string E, I don't know when that happened. And then after this split, we can just immediately do another split. And what do we want to split by? Where is this right here? This These closing table data tags. Just copy that and paste that right on in there. And then we want the zero with element. So now what we can do is we can say print and price to book ratio colon. And then we want to print PBR. Right, so this is just going to say the price to book ratio colon it, you know, basically is, and then what that, what it is. So let's save that, and uh, you can either press F5 to run it, or you can go to run it and run module. It doesn't really matter. Run that, and oh shoot, well we haven't really done anything, but uh, since we've defined that function, you could type in Yahoo key stats, and you can put any stock in here that you wanted. So like you could say, um, let's look for a Apple. What is the Apple price to book ratio? It's 3.67, okay? So in the next video, what I'm gonna do is show you guys how we can incorporate this entire list and then also um, make it only print out if it's, you know, a, if it's within a specific range or underneath a specific number. So we can actually make this a pretty basic, but a screening program. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.